Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today is a bit of a different video. Today we're going to show you how we built our gates for our narrowboat. And the reason we built these gates was to protect the cats so that the cats will just run through and dogs can't get in and onto the boat. So here's my first gate, this is my prototype. I didn't build this one on the camera because I wanted to get it right first. And there's a few things I need to do properly this time. Um, so as you can see, this is the gate. Measured up perfectly to fit in here. This is this one. Um, it was supposed to be for this side. But then I put these things on the wrong way. And they should be uh, over here. But um, because this one, we have a little chunk there. It should be a little bit longer. So I could have cut it sh straight here. Um, but no, not worries. No worries, because I'll just have this thing over the top, you can hide it from that. Um, but yeah, it's, I've done a pretty good job, I must say so myself. Send this down. Oh. Um, as you can see, the only problem ha I've done is because the jigsaw is really bad and old, it hasn't cut straight, as you can see, which is leaving some gaps because this one's higher. But, that's not going to be a problem because we're going to cover that up with some wood. Um, this, the exact same wood as the original taffrail we built. We couldn't remember if it was B&Q or Wix we got it from. But it was B&Q we went to Wix and we couldn't find it. And then we went B&Q with the exact measurements and fits perfectly. Um, just move this out of the way. Because then I can show you. Right, there we go, as you can see, fits in perfectly, um, same size, same diameter, different um, locks here, but obviously the hardest bit is getting the post in there and, and to take our weight, because um, we have to join that to metal because it's surrounded by metal and there's nowhere else to join it, which I'm not going to do that part, but got some really strong hinges. 250 millimeters. Um, so that's the first one, and I'm going to show you how I built it because I've got to build the second one now. And um, these are just scrap bits of wood Dad managed to get from his new job, which is really good because that means we don't have to fork out for that. Um, so now let's get let's get going. Firstly, I'm going to measure this bit of wood here to 30 inches. Same size as the other one. Finish that off while I'm here as well. Don't let it go down. Mark that down. Why don't you use a circular saw? Have you ever used that? You said it's not very good for cutting straight thing. Oh no, the jigsaw's the other one. Oh, I got it that one hung around. You're using the, jig the jigsaw for cutting fine yeah. corners. If you use a circular saw, you'll get a lovely straight cut. Yeah, but I'm probably going to just use a saw. Yeah, you can just use a saw. Um, and 30 inches there. Now, the line. Go. Now, time to cut it. I'm not going to try to cut up the jigsaw uh, because it wasn't straight. So I'm going to cut up the saw manually. Dad said use the circular saw, but I'm uh, not going to lie, I'm a bit scared of those, I'm a bit intimidated. Watch too many horror films, I think. Right, here we go. Bloody hell. I might have to. Bloody hell. That's our 30 inch bit of wood, uh, cut it 
Um, straight as I could, but even with doing it manually, I still managed to do a slight incline on it, but it's not to worry, no problem really. Right, so got a slight problem. And Dad only bought a few strips of this wood in from the car to begin with, but we got the rest of the wood out. Now he thought this was the same wood, but look, it's not. There's about an inch difference. Um, so I've only got one strip of this left, and I need to make four uh, slats out of it, as you can see. So I could make two mats. So I think I'm going to make two outside ones, this one and that one, and I'm going to have to put this smaller one in the middle, but inch difference, no one's really going to notice, I don't think. Um, but it does mean a dog can probably get through a bit better. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. It's not really too much of a problem, but it's a bit annoying. I've got the bottom bit here. Um, one thing that's got a crack in it as well, so... Right, yeah, well I got this bottom bit because I cut this by accident with the wrong measurement last time I did it. So that's 30 inches as well. And now we just need to cut the four bits in between. Right, so I believe these are 22 inches. I made mean, these. Yeah, 21 and a half I made them. So, I'm pour those out. Twenty two, twenty two. Just cut one out and then I can measure the other one. Come on, baby. Go. It's never going to be 100% straight. Not with my skill set and cutting wood and stuff. So, look at that. Look at that for a cut. Oh, look how straight that is. A master carpenter himself couldn't do better than that. Trust me. So now I've got to use the smaller wood, as you can see. There you go, that's one. Chop that up. I won't film that because I've filmed loads of chopping up. Right, so here we go. Here's all the bits of wood. Bottom, top, and then our four side bits. Now, I need to sand them all down, which is going to take ages. Got the sander. I think this is 80 ply. Uh, going to do sand it all down on this, and I'm going to use a 320 ply. I think that should do. So, that's all the wood sanded down, um, mostly, except for this bit, because I want to show you this. Some of these bits of wood were used um, for stuff. Whoa, careful there, Josh. Um, and they've got these things left in them. Little bits of metal staple on it. I've got to try and pull out. Uh, but look at me, I'm covered in sand. Um, but when I did this, the other one, I had a wind, quite a strong 20 mile an hour wind. 
So it all went away from me, but this time there's not a drop of wind. Um, but yeah, these take a little while to get out. But I'm gonna, I haven't fully sound these down yet. It's only um, 80 ply. I'm gonna do 320 as well. After I've got all these out. Which are pretty bloody tough to get out some of these. There we go. The bit we're just going in Mum's bedroom now. So, uh, sand all the wood down now. I can't hear anything from that noise. My hand feels like jelly. Um, so we got every bit here, all really nice and smooth. Screws and things are out. It's like one of these. Huh? Like a kit. Yeah. This one isn't that smooth, but it's alright. That's going to be the bottom one anyway. Uh, turned my black shirt into a cream shirt. Oh, grey one, hello. Anyway, time to put this all together now. Oh, that's close. So, now I've got to try and um, join all the wood together, which is quite hard because I need something, I need to put it against something, so I've got a bit of wood here to push against to get the screw in. Attaching it to the bottom bit of wood first, find it easier that way. So, here we go! Drop the number one. That's why I don't record these things. Can I get frustrated? Well, first I'm going to put the screw in to the wood. Something solid to push against now, so I should be able to do this a bit better. I'm gonna make a new screw hole because that one was a bit too high. There we go. That's one screw in. Fair down, I want There we go, rips. Rippers! Oh shit, I just snapped the fucking wood. Try and do this without splitting the wood. This time. Seems to be pretty hard for me not to split the wood. That's in. Almost split that one then. Almost split it. Right. So now we have to find out um, where to equally place the uh, other struts, or whatever you want to call them. So it's 30 inches. So I'll just try an error. So I put it four inches in each side. 22 and 8. Yeah, there's a big gap in the middle, so we go to 10 and uh, 20. Yeah, so maybe 20 and a half and 9 and a half. And there we go, bingo. That's what we want. Same gap in between both of them, so 
in the middle it's 12 to 18. Alright, that's 6 inches. And uh, 4 to. Yeah, just about right. I think it's slightly smaller in the centre, but that's alright. So now I'm going to mark down where to put them. So 20 and a half to 18. Oh, they're not quite free. The two and a half. So I've got to put it in the centre as well. So first I've got to find the centre. Which is two. So there we go. That's all the bits of wood attached to the bottom piece. And I've got to do the hard bit of attaching uh, the top bit to it. Which probably won't go very well because none of these bits are very level. But let's see what I can do. And for that I've got to use longer screws down there. In there because it's quite thick the other stuff. So right, let's attach these bits then, shall we? So first I'm going to drill a screw in so it sticks out at the other end. Make sure I do it quite generously and I'll snap the way. Yeah, I told you about that one. Right, here we go. And I can line it up with that. Well, it's starting to snap there, so I'll leave that. Screw this one in now. Get it nice and slow now. Hopefully, I can adjust this one a bit. No, I'm going to snap it. So I've got a bit of an edge there again because it's not even. God, you're tilted, aren't you? Sorry about that. And now, uh, try to attach this end. Hmm, a bit short. Shouldn't be too much of a problem there. Oh! God, I ran out of battery. Right. Push this along as far as I can. There we go. Right. When you so I've done it now. I know it's not perfect, but who cares? It does the job. Uh, anyway, um, just using little stainless steel screws for this, which do the job nicely. I hope they're strong enough. That's a fact. Use a bigger one in here because it's got a little bit of a gap. So that's both of the gates done. As you can see, not fully done. They need a little bit of uh, extra finesse just to make them look, look, look a little bit better. But I started like drizzling ever so slightly now. It's like a thunder storms on its way. But um, I think that's all I'm going to do for today. Did the best I could with my limited knowledge of woodwork. So I'm quite happy with that. Now i just got to try and uh, join them up next time. 
as you can see, there are two bolts, one flat on the bottom, just to add a little bit of extra strength. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Got the floor now. I might have to. Look. A lot of this will have to be sanded back to the indicator before so I get that. Put that flooring down to protect the, uh, the paint and it's ruined it. Yeah. Um, yeah it's just coming off in sheets. Taking the flooring off now so we can put the gates on. Um, it's just coming off in sheets, look. Yeah. And that was undercoat that we sanded to key it to get the cream paint on. And about three or four layers of cream paint. What a waste! I think the moisture's got underneath and kept it there, and then it's just peeled the paint off. Well, we've been struggling to figure out how to attach the gate. But we've come up with this for this side. Um, we've got. Cool. A few screw holes through the metal. I'm going to attach it with this one there. There's another one down there, and we're going to put another one. Right. As you can see, the hinges are attached to that. The bottom bit is only going to have one screw in it. Okay, I think someone's making a nest opposite us, Dad. Are they? Oh, yeah, she's a beak. Yeah, it's perfect little nest site. Mm. It's floating as well, see it floating? Yeah. When she bobs up and down, so that means it will go up and down with the water. Look at it snapping the finger. Clever little things, aren't they? Yeah. Right. <sighs> Once we get that in, see? Mm. The wood's never straight. I'm gonna put I some need a little block there to stop it going that way. Yeah, you can, you can put something in afterwards, yeah. But when this, if you put this in, like when I'm saying, when this is shut like that, yeah, when we get the right level, we'll have a little block under here yeah. to support the weight of someone, you see? Yeah. Fish just come up then. So when that's shut, the, your weight will be on this. So all we need to do now is get the top right. So I suggest we get the top right. <laughs> okay. No, I was going to think of something else then. That's nearly eight, so that needs to go down a little bit there. It needs to go down about an inch that, so we need another. If you pass me that bit of wood behind you there, there's a little. It's a matter of. No, that's need another little bit of wood now. Yeah, that's bang on, right? Yeah, oh, damn. That that height is bang on, so mm. you need to screw in. So let's adjust that one. So we've got this hinge in now. That's it then, isn't it? Can you open the gate? Let me the truth. Move that. Move that. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Right. Need a battery now.
we've got to take another little bit out of here so we can open it properly. Annoyingly, there's Toby, look, he's already used the gate. Oh, it's a screw. Another bloody screw. Is that our screw, is it? Yeah. Can't physically turn it. I hope you like jamming too. That's got it. That's a beast, isn't it? Look at that one. There's two more in there, but I've bent them. These ones. Mm. That's the strength it needs. Yeah. I could probably cut a bit of that off with the saw anyway. I'm sure we can cover it up or something. And then I can go in again here with another screw into the block. Mm. That's the strength we needed. Okay, try it a minute. So we've got the hinges in now. And it opens nice and smoothly. Apart from a bit of rust, which I've got to sand down in a minute. Once you get this rust off, yeah, I've just got to try and get all this sorted out. Get some rust converter on that. It's just the rust that was doing it, these little bits of rust. Try and drop it in rather than slide it in. So now wiggle it a bit. And you a little bit of pack in behind there. Won't go now, will it? Oh, I know. Hang on, right. Yeah, do that. That's like my dad's getting the owl. Oh, it's the wrong way up. That's it, I'm out of silicone now. I've got another one on the sofa. Oh, good. Say, because I've got the others on here. No. So, at the moment I'm about 19 stone-ish. And, um, except this part, it's fine, because this part's taking on all my weight. It joins to the taff rail. But, obviously if I sit along here, it still takes me. Look at that. It still takes all my weight. Funny enough. Um, but, we don't trust it, and over time I reckon it probably will, uh, start to bend and crack and stuff and fall apart so we're gonna try and um put some extra support in dad's got a little idea for that you all right mate <laughs> nice to see you again Hiya. Hiya. you all right yeah i'm very well yourselves yeah not too bad it's beautiful isn't it again it's lovely yeah. remember we met you on the coventry canal do you remember that <laughs> Yeah. We'll be back there in August. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, got another little bit of face this up here to make it look a bit better. Uh, yeah, just cut it to size. And, um, unfortunately, yeah, the wall does curve a little bit, I think, on the boat. So, obviously, I can't cover up the hinges. So, I need to take a little bit out there at the top corner, do that with sanding. Yeah, sand this bit of wood down and put it in here now. Sand it. Um, just put it in here. And, um, yeah, it's going to curve up a little bit. And it doesn't really matter if it covers it in, it's not a problem really. Oh, <laughs> so I've got to screw it in now. And I think it's the floor. Though. So that's that bit of wood in now. It's getting tidier. Need to put a bit of wood in here now. Lock that up. Yeah, she's coming in. So in order to hide all my horrible, sorry, um, I mean beautiful woodwork that I've done under here, as you can see, I'm putting this up. This little uh, strip of wood, make it look a bit nicer. And there we go, nice job. Apart from this, unfortunately I've had to screw over that screw there. But it's alright, still uh, works and shuts, that's all I need to do. 
Beautiful rips. So the last little bit I'm going to do for today is cover up this little bit here. So I've measured this about right, as you can see. This slot in there. There's going to be a little bit of a gap here, there. If I can do about that, it's because the um, metal goes down in an angle, which is very complicated because it bends here as well. So, right in there we go. I think that's all I'm going to do for today. This one, it's looking pretty good. Might touch it up in here and there. See the gap here. Um, I don't know if there's a lot I can do about that really. That won't look. Dad decided to do this on his own. And I came out one day and the gate was put on upside down. I was having a tired day. And when so I get tired days, everything just yeah, goes wrong. That bottom bit was at the top. It looked really, really bad. Huh? Better than this. That's not Rodney. That's not Rodney. Mum's probably going somewhere. Uh, yeah, so. There you go. Don't forget the ones. They're the prettiest things in the world that they do the job. Ow. What's this undercoat you got? Just Turner and Grey stuff. Oh. Just a basic undercoat. Oh, it's quite thick. It's quite nice stuff actually. Surprised. The thing is, you can get Dulux, you can get all these top things, but for an undercoat, you don't really need it. No. Just for an undercoat. It's only a base for our. Yeah, what one do you want me to do? No, I'm, no I, just, I don't know. I thought you'd do the other one. It's only a, a base for the top coat, top back to go on. But we're probably going to need two coats of this, I think. It's not much to look at, undercoat. No, that's why I don't record you painting, because it's just... <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. It's boring. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind painting. I don't mind it. This is just basically something for the top lac that we're going to use to grip to. Yeah. I think it's water based as well. You can use you can use a water based undercoat and then go over the top with oils. Fucking boat coming now. The second coat will look better. The first coat always looks rough. Yeah. I'm going to try not to. Why do you want me to? No. Uh, Mum would. Yeah. Mum likes painting over things like that. Anything goes on there, I've got a cloth. You just wipe it off. Tape it when you do the top layer. Yeah. Be done properly with the top layer. Like I say, this is just a foundation for the paint to sit on. I'm going to have to move that. Weird. <laughs> Shrouded in secretness. Where is it right into that wood? So that's all the gates done. Painted. First layer of undercoat. We need a second one. When we get back to then, it's looking pretty good. Hi, Toby. Dad's giving the gates the second coat now. Looking forward to getting this video done. It's been like two bloody months now. Well, it's work, it's weather, mm. isn't it? Yeah, so maybe we can give another coat to you. Oh, we're cruising, aren't we? Maybe I'll screw them. Yeah, got another coat going on. I don't would need 
Only two undercoats. Yeah. Now you can start painting it bounty red. Yeah. That's that one. Are you painting this one today? Yeah. Yeah. This one broke this morning, so I had to repair it because mum put the uh, gate over the plank and then because the boat moved it snapped, snapped all the screws so I had to read it, but it's all right now. Mm. So get back to you, I'm getting the red on. This is the nice bit, if you stay on top of things like this, it's just a matter of touching up like that. The metal bits are having another coat. The thing is about painting in the UK, whether it's too hot or it's raining. Or That's too it. cold or windy. It's got to be perfect. Windy, raining or too hot. Or too cold. Yeah. That's why you can't do it in the winter. You can, on a warm day in the winter, I suppose. But then if you get dew on the paint, or frost on the paint, while it's curing... It's going to be absolute perfect, but... Don't really get those days in the UK. The conditions are perfect if it doesn't rain. Yeah. It's perfect weather, except for the rain. Yeah. No wind, no hot sun. It's not raining again now, so... It. We're just trying to get the first coat on the gate. So we can finally finish this bloody two month, almost three month job. We started this at the top of, uh, uh, what's that big flight board? Tardy big. Yeah, but the trouble is, it's, it's been too hot. <laughs> We've had some really hot weather, I'm not complaining. There it is, look. First, co uh, first coat of um, red on there. Looks like it's rained here a bit as well. Got more rain on it. Not top coat though. Probably needs at least one more coat, obviously, but maybe two. That fits in a bit more now, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks a lot better now. Well that's it everybody, after two months we finally finished at the gates at the back of the boat and I can tell you they've been doing their jobs quite a few times 
dogs have tried to get on the back of the boat and the cats have managed to run through but the dogs can't get on. So it's brilliant. I'm glad I did this because it's such a frequent occurrence of dogs trying to get onto the boat. Um, and yeah, they're doing the job. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Maybe check out our Patreon or our social media, Facebook, Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.